How to maintain a jellyfish tank. Jellyfish can make great pets. To keep them healthy and happy, you will need to maintain their tank. Ensure their water is clean, deionized, and at an appropriate temperature and salinity. Change the water and clean the tank regularly. Give new jellyfish time to acclimate to their tank by slowly mixing the water in their bag with water in the tank. Jellyfish are fascinating but delicate creatures, so always be gentle when moving them. Creating a healthy environment. Buy a jellyfish tank. Several companies offer ready-made jellyfish and jellyfish tanks. The benefit of buying a pre-made jellyfish tank is that all the parts and pieces you need will be easily assembled, saving you the stress of figuring out what kind of filter, pump, and tank you need for your jellyfish. After you get the tank assembled, the manufacturer will send you jellyfish in the mail. Your tank should be a chrysal or pseudochrysal design. A standard boxy fish tank will not do. This is because jellyfish need slowly circulating water. A chrysal or pseudochrysal design accomplishes this by creating a current that runs in a circle around the top, bottom, and sides of the tank. You should have at least two gallons of water per jellyfish. In other words, if you have three jellyfish, your tank should be no smaller than six gallons. Consult a pet shop proprietor or marine life expert if you are unsure of what kind of tank you need. Ensure the right temperature. Jellyfish should be in water that is approximately room temperature, between 70 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Slightly higher temperatures up to 75 degrees Fahrenheit may improve the growth rate of your jellyfish. Water temperatures can dip to around 60 degrees Fahrenheit without adversely affecting your jellyfish. Some species of moon jellyfish can tolerate temperatures up to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Always consult your vet or a marine expert to ensure you keep your particular jellyfish species at an appropriate temperature. Put a waterproof thermometer in your jellyfish tank. Monitor the temperature regularly. If your tank is too cold, you could place a heat lamp near the outside of the tank to raise the temperature, or try simply raising the temperature of your home thermostat. If your jellyfish habitat is too hot, consider moving the tank to a cooler location like a basement, or invest in an aquarium cooler. Add nitrifying bacteria. Nitrifying bacteria are an important part of your jellyfish tank. In their natural environment, jellyfish would be surrounded by nitrifying bacteria microorganisms that consume ammonia and turn it into nitrite and nitrate. There are many kinds of nitrifying bacteria available. Jellyfish tanks should be given nitrifying bacteria appropriate for saltwater. Nitrifying bacteria are common in many aquarium setups and can be purchased from your local pet store. Monitor the water salinity. Jellyfish should be kept in water with a salinity of at least 28 to 30 parts per thousand in a maximum level or around 32 to 34 parts per thousand. Use a hydrometer to measure the water salinity and ensure that when you change the water, it is at an appropriate salinity level. Hydrometers are readily available at pet stores and online. Greater than introduce your jellyfish to a tank with a salinity level that is slightly higher than normal. This way, they have a better chance at floating. You can gradually reduce the salinity over time. Water with a salinity level that is too low will make them sink. If you need to adjust the salinity, remove your jellyfish from the tank and place them in a smaller quarantine tank. Dump the main tank out and mix a new batch of water at the correct salinity. Connect your pump to ensure the water mixes well for about 24 hours. Check the water in your hydrometer. Repeat as needed. Do not use tap water to create salt water for your tank. Buy deionized or reverse osmosis water from your grocery store, and add jelly salt a salt specifically designed for jellyfish habitats in an appropriate amount. Hydrometers are readily available at pet stores and online. Introduce your jellyfish to a tank with a salinity level that is slightly higher than normal. This way, they have a better chance at floating. You can gradually reduce the salinity over time. Water with a salinity level that is too low will make them sink. If you need to adjust the salinity, remove your jellyfish from the tank and place them in a smaller quarantine tank. Dump the main tank out and mix a new batch of water at the correct salinity. Connect your pump to ensure the water mixes well for about 24 hours. Check the water in your hydrometer. Repeat as needed. Do not use tap water to create salt water for your tank. Buy deionized or reverse osmosis water from your grocery store and add jelly salt a salt specifically designed for jellyfish habitats in an appropriate amount. Feed your jellyfish. Jellyfish should be fed twice each day. They can be fed a mix of dry, frozen, and live foods. Live rotifers, for instance, are a good jellyfish snack. Jellyfish also enjoy eating baby brine shrimp. Commercially available jellyfish foods might be available at your local pet store or online. One half to one full scoop of commercial jellyfish food is usually enough. 
Check manufacturer directions for specific use directions. When feeding your jellyfish shrimp or other live food, add a small amount 1 tablespoons worth at first, then add more gradually over time. If you notice a surplus of shrimp in the tank after feeding, reduce the amount of live food you're feeding your jellyfish. It should get only as much food as it can eat in an hour. Do not pour water from baby brine shrimp tanks into your jellyfish tank.